This video will focus on multiplying two digit by one digit numbers. In year three, children are expected to be fluent in their two, five, 10, three, four and eight times tables. This is necessary for them to be confident in answering more complex multiplication and division questions. The strategy explained in this video is the strategy we expect children to use in year three. Please do not teach your child long multiplication unless I have discussed this with you. In our first example, we want to find the answer to 21 multiplied by 4. First, we partition the two-digit number into tens and ones. 21 is made up of 20 and 1. Now, we must multiply each of these parts by the one-digit number, in this case 4. 20 times 4 is equal to 80. If I know that 2 times 4 is equal to 8, then I know that 20 times 4 is equal to 80. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. Now we must add these two parts together. 80 plus 4 is equal to 84. Therefore, 21 times 4 is equal to 84. We can also represent this equation on an array. We can partition the array into 20 times 4 is 80 and 1 times 4 is 4. 80 plus 4 is equal to 84, so 21 times 4 is equal to 84. Let's have a look at a different example. 3 times 34. First, we partition the two-digit number. 34 partitions into 30 and 4. Then we multiply each of these parts by the one-digit number 3. 30 times 3 is equal to 90. Because if I know 3 times 3 is 9, then I know that 30 times 3 is equal to 90. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Now we must add these two answers together. 90 plus 12 is equal to 102. Therefore, 3 times 34 is equal to 102.